So if you're interested in running two Kinter apps for your Android device like the one you see here, this video will be a quick guide on how to do so. The code is going to be ran inside of an app called PyDroid 3. So find the app inside of the Play Store and install it. Next, we need the PyDroid repository plugin app. While not necessary for Tekinter, it does add a screen that allows you to quick install different Python libraries at the tap of a button. Like before, download and install that plugin also. Now we have to download and install Tekinter for the PyDroid app. Open PyDroid 3. If this is your first time opening up the app after installation, you'll probably get some setup questions that you can quickly go through. Tap the icon in the top left corner, tap pip, go to install, and then type into Kinter where it says library name and hit install. PyDroid will attempt to download and install to Kinter and if everything goes well, the app should display something like successfully installed to Kinter at the bottom. I already have to enter, so my screen just says requirement already satisfied. To run a Tekinter app, load your Python file by tapping the folder icon, selecting open, and then choosing your file. Then hit the play button at the bottom of the screen to execute it. Here's my gamification app, and as you can see, you can display images, text, buttons, and even additional windows like top levels. PyDroid handles most of Tekinter's widgets seamlessly. Alright, so that's the end of the tutorial, and thank you for watching.